So aside from my hair, the biggest question I get on the daily is always about my eyelashes. Are they extensions? Where do you go? How often do you get them filled? What style are they? What makes them filled? You go over there. Are they individuals? Are they stuff? Are they magnetic? Can you find them in there? You guys ask everything. And while I have done a YouTube video before sharing how I put on lashes every day, I feel like enough time has passed that we need to revisit this. So let's rewind real quickly to the year 2011. I decided to get eyelash extensions and I woke up and looked like this. Terrifying, right? My eyes were swollen shut. I couldn't open them. I took a selfie. I texted it to my best friend, Tori, and I was like, oh my God, look at what happened to me. She's like, Courtney, open your eyes. I'm like, no, you don't understand. They are open. She's like, put some frozen stuff on them and like let it sit for like 20 minutes, you'll be fine. So I get out of bed 20 minutes later, go look in the mirror, and then this is what I look like. Oh yeah, still tragic, y'all, it was not cute. Like, why did I have an allergic reaction? Do you wanna know why? Because the glue that they use has formaldehyde in it. I've tried the sunstick glue since then. I still had a reaction. We did just a couple little pieces out in the corner once just to see, yeah, I'm still allergic. In 2011, I had to make a really quick judgment call. I had to figure out how to put on fake lashes every single day of my life quickly to achieve the same look that every other girl has every moment of their life with their extensions. Now, not only are the strip lashes cheaper, but they are so convenient, they're so easy, and once you get the hang of it, you will be popping these puppies on and off like a piece of cake. So, I'm going to share my quick lash tutorial that takes, I'd say, five minutes, if that. If you're good, like me, I'll give you 30 seconds. Lashes in 30 seconds or less. I'm gonna prove it. So like I said, I put lashes on every single day and for those of you that are intimidated, please don't be because I'm going to dumb down this process so much for you that you're gonna go, oh my gosh, why have I not been wearing fake lashes every single day? So you're gonna need two products. One is your choice of lashes. I really love Ardell brand. I love their Demi Wispies and they have several variations of the Demi Wispies. Uh, they have them in like faux mink, they have them in magnetic, they've got them in extra wispy, they've got them in brown black, they've got them in brown, they've got them in real hair, they've got them in fake hair, they've got them in all these options. I like the Studio Effects Demi Wispies. And if you buy them at um, Ulta, they usually come in this two pack and are generally on sale. Okay, so to get started, we are going to open up our lashes, obviously, and we're gonna peel, be really gentle when you're peeling, kind of peel from the outside corner. One left and one right, okay. And sometimes you might discover that you need to trim them to fit your lashes. The Demi Wispies by Ardell fit my eye, like the shape of my eye perfectly. But um, if you're someone who's never worn lashes before, you don't know which brand like is the right length for the length of your eye, um, just like hold them up and you'll kind of be able to see um, if they're long enough or if they're too short. I don't mind if they're too long because then I kind of tug at them. You'll see that trick at the end to get just a little bit more fullness and wispiness out here in the corner. Sometimes when you take them off, they have a little extra glue on the strip. These don't, which is another one of the reasons I love them. This glue has been on my hand for about four minutes. Four minutes is the sweet spot. Um, you'll notice that it's starting to get this little black rim around the edge of it. Um, and when it stops sliding down your hand, that's when it's tacky. If you use it right out of the tube, it's gonna be slippery and too wet and your lashes are gonna slip and slide on your lash line. But if you let it set for a little bit before you apply it to the lash, it's gonna get tacky. And then I think that really helps it grip and adhere better to your own natural lashes. All I have on my lashes right now is my favorite mascara. So use your favorite mascara, put one coat on, and let's get going. You're gonna take the lash, grab it by the long outside corner. So like, if you look at the lash, this is the part that's, the shorter part is where it's gonna go on the inside corner. The longer part is gonna be what goes on the outside corner. Grab on the outside corner. And then you're gonna drag super lightly. It's kind of a dab move again. Just ever so slightly through the glue. And you're gonna get a really, really baby fine line of glue 
on that. You're gonna reposition your hand once you've dragged it through the glue. And you're gonna hold it at the, kind of the highest point you can. Then, you are going to place the inside corner first into right where your lashes start. You are not placing them on the lash. You are not placing them on your eyelid skin. You're placing them in the little pocket where the floaty, flirty lash, real ones, meet your eyelid skin. So there's a little pocket right there. That's where, that's like the sweet spot. I think it's easiest to look up into the into the, your mirror so then you can kind of drop it down. So, so much pressure! Okay, so we're gonna match. Oh, and then you'll see, you just follow the line of that little pocket and you just drop it. It might not be in the right place, but that's okay because we're gonna fiddle with it. Then you're gonna pull the outside corner again and you're gonna see that it's not matching up over there. So you're gonna just ever so lightly touch it and you're gonna just push it, just tap it down into that wide corner back there. And then you're not gonna push at the, at the seam line or at the glue line. You're going to tap the ends and tap them into that little pocket. And they're on perfect. And if you wanna give them a little tug to get more like volume over here, you can kind of give them just a little tug and just tap. It's literally just tapping them in. Let's do the other side. So, we're gonna ever so lightly swipe or dab through, and if you get too much, you can kind of like dab off the extra, grab the outside corner, start with the inside, drop it like it's hot, but like not, well not like a bad hot, like a good hot. Okay, you'll notice this one, it didn't drop down in the front, like in the, in the corner, so I'm just gonna like kind of tap at it. And we're just gonna push it down a little bit. Oh, there we go. And then I'm gonna look at this angle, I'm gonna give it a little pull, and tap it in. And these lashes are golden. Oh, yes. I just feel so much better when I put lashes on. I just feel like I wish I could wake up like this, like minus the allergic reaction. So I told you guys that was easy. I wasn't lying, was I? 30 seconds, right? I mean, you saw how quickly, drop it like a tot, drop it like a tot, bat your lashes, say bye. I'm really freaking good at parallel parking. The other thing I'm really good at is putting lashes on. So, I, I'm, call me a narcissist, call me conceited, I don't really care. I'm really good at putting fake lashes on. And you know what? You're welcome, because now you will be too. Practice makes perfect, so give it a couple tries. So, give this video two thumbs up if you liked it. If you hated it, get the heck off my channel. Leave some comments below. Let me know what other types of videos you wanna see. And if you want more beauty inspiration, be sure to head to currently.com and hit the pampering tab. We'll see you later.